everybody, it's water in conversation today. Yes, I did say it. You do see it. Water! Right, so today's episode, we're going to be talking about commitment to self and water. Water. Let's go. Taking the day I am. Taking the day. 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 All right, as you can see, I have finished my glass of water and I can now move on to coffee. But before we jump into today's conversation, hey family, have you all had a fantastic week? I'm listening. Did you all play a little bit? I played real good on this past week. I hope that you did too. I hope that you took time to find something fun to do. I went to a virtual HBCU party hosted by uh, Kai Tao Omega chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and listen I had a good time DJ delivered delivered listen listen that music was good and honey we partied real good and while we was partying I was at my sister house we was dancing and cooking fish and y'all let me tell you I walked out the room and while she thought I was gone I came back around the corner y'all I'm gonna tell y'all the truth she was in there twerking I caught her twerking she was twerking in the kitchen. Fritz asked her about it because she was in there getting it in. Yes, she was. So we had a fantastic time partying and dancing. I spent the weekend uh, really playing, playing very heavily with um, the children, my husband. We had a nice time. So I hope that you all did the same, family. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Y'all listen. Look around, find something that ministers to your soul and helps you to live a happier, healthier life. That's what my intention is, is sharing uh, tips for my daily life and the things that I'm doing to keep myself encouraged to continually seek in my own journey um, and, and get where I'm going in this here life and live a happier life. What are you doing? If you don't, li if you don't love the life that you're creating, what are you doing? If you're in a relationship and you're not enjoying a relationship, what are you doing? You in it, you're a part of it. Make something you want to be a part of. If you don't like your house, change it. Uh -huh. If you don't like your job, look for another one. I'm preaching good already. Now, nah, all I'm saying is, sincerely, if you don't like the life that you're creating, create a different one. And that's what this channel is about, how to do that. And today, in order to do that, we're going to talk about our commitment to self and being committed to self. So are you committed to yourself? Are you? Are you committed to your goals, your dreams? Are you committed to the things that are important to you? Two things unequivocally are the most important things in your life. Your mental health and your physical health. If you are crazy as a road lizard, there is nothing anybody can do with you. Come on here. If you crazy, what can we do? Mentally, if you are gone, there is nothing we can do with you. So one, you know, without even further discussion, if you if you mentally you off, Go get yourself together. Go sit on the couch or go get the pill or do whatever it is that you need to do. Seek the Lord. And if you pray, if you have prayed and read the Bible and you're still crazy, that is why they make drugs. Go and get that good prescription. Stop running to the upper cabinet. Because this is expensive and it does not fix a thing and can ruin your life. If you are substance abusing, when what you ought to be doing is, is sitting on the couch and perhaps getting you some Wellbutrin or Xanax or Zoloft or whatever the current uh, favorite uh, uh, Cymbalta is, you need to go do whatever it is you need to do to get up out this cabinet because you should need to hit this cabinet every day. Uh-huh. You should need to hit this cabinet daily. If you hitting the cabinet daily or you hitting your substance daily, you need to figure something else out. It's not working for you. You need your mental health. The other half of that is still, uh, physical health. If physically you are not healthy, then you need to figure out what you're going to do. Now, sometimes physical health, you, you can't pick and choose 
the things that come with you. I have shared with you all before that I have a son and got the same mama, same daddy. So it ain't no different. They both grow quickly, but one has significant growing pains. And as a result, he has to have therapy and all these different things just so that he can function normally in the world. He didn't select that for his life. But we do, we make the decisions that we need to make so that he can have physical peace. It is what it is. I did not choose to be fluffy. You hear what I'm saying? You know, I have some friends that eat down, cook down, eat good. They still link, lanky and long. It is what it is. There are some people that came into the world, they just lanky and long, they can eat whatever. Some of us, we got a little extra fluff when we eat whatever it is that we want to. And therefore we need water and Metamucil. Those are my first two steps in being committed to self. But I have to be committed to whatever the processes of my life bring me. Whatever my life includes, I have to be committed to that. And if physically, if I, if I am not in my best physical form, then I'm struggling to be able to execute in the way that I need to, and I need to do better in that area. And and you got to look at yourself and say, okay, for me, I need to get, I have to start at the beginning. For me, it's water and metal music. Those are my first two steps. I have to start there. That's my step one. But I have to be committed to that so that as I age, I won't age in a way where I can't dip when the music hit and I want to dip, I can't dip. I need to be able to dip low. I need to dip low, bring it back high. You know, however I want to do it, I need to be able to do it. Now let's talk about commitment to self. Commitment to self is saying, I'm never going to give up on me. I'm not going to give up on me. I'm not going to give up on achieving the best physical health that I can. I'm not going to give up on achieving the best mental health that I can. I'm not going to give up on the goals and dreams that I have set for myself. And you can tell people that are committed to themselves in different areas because this applies to every aspect of your life. I remember being younger asking my mom, how do you stay married for, for 50 years? And she said, it is being able to be committed to the commitment that you made on that day. You made a commitment on that day. You said, come hell or high water, come rain, come sunshine, come laugh, come pain. I am committed to you. I'm committed to the committed that we met, to the commitment that we are making on this day. So when I made the commitment to one D Jonathan D. Calloway, listen, it's being committed to that commitment and saying I'm committed to that commitment that I made then. Now, how do I follow up the commitments that I make in my life? I am committed to living healthier and having a healthier life experience in my physical and mental body. How do I live that out? I'm committed to going after my goals and dreams. I'm committed to help to raising my children and giving them the best start in life that they can possibly have. Now, where they land up is up to them, but I'm gonna give you the best start I can possibly give you. I'm gonna give you all the tools that I know to give you so that you can make educated choices when you away from me. When I send you off to college, you will make a wise choice. You will make choices of wisdom, but I'm gonna give you all the tools that I can possibly give you. I'm committed to that. How do I do that? This applies to every aspect of your life. Okay, so it's two areas you gotta master in order to get your commitment game up. So there's always areas where we can be more committed. So two areas we gotta master. One, the area of emotion, your emotional muscle. And two, the area of your thoughts. <sighs> Emotional muscle. That's your muscle of self-discipline. That's the, I don't feel like drinking water first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning, I want a cup of coffee. How am I going to exercise this muscle of, I need water. So when I am in the space of, I'm drinking water more than I'm drinking coffee, I make my first beverage of the day, water, and then 
I make sure before I have every beverage that I want to have, I have a glass of water. So this is my water glass, and it is. Then I have to have one of these before I can have a cup of coffee. If I want to have another cup of coffee, I have to have another one of these. When I get ready to have lunch and I want a glass of tea, I got to have one of these first. I have one of these with dinner, and I gotta have one of these when it's bedtime, right? So this is my way, and I think it's like a little bit more than 16 ounces, but it, or it might be a 20 ounce glass. It's my way of making sure that I have enough water. My goal is to get to a gallon of water a day. Starts here. I start with this, and then I move over to my big 32 ounce baby. And when I get to my 32 ounce baby, then I have 32 ounces of water before I can have a cup of coffee. And then I have another 32 ounces of water before I can have another cup of coffee. So it gets bigger and bigger, but this is a small step. You know, I told you, you have to have one thing. You got to start with one thing and then you add on. I start with that and then I add on. That's my commitment. That's my self-discipline. I can do this today until I can get to 32 ounces. If I say I got to have 32 ounces before my cup of coffee today, I'm going to quit. I won't make it to 32. I will never get, cause I'm gonna want to, I'll just give up. But I could do that. The next thing that I have to do is be patient with myself. This current self has to be patient until I can get to my future self, my future goal, my future expression of whatever it is. Whether it's weight loss or that future uh, relationship or that future business. I have to be patient with myself. How am I patient with myself? I use meditation. Meditation helps me to relax. Meditation helps me to get myself together. Maybe you need to pray more. Maybe you need to spend more time in prayer. Uh, whatever it is that you need to do. You might need to have some Bible studies at night with yourself. Whatever it is that you need to do to help you be patient, to help you build that muscle of patience while you are in process from the self that's with you today, your present self, until you can get to your future self. All right, moving on to your thought muscle. All right, you got to get your head together. So you got to get your emotions together and then you got to get your head together, right? Because your feelings drive how you think. So now you have to get your head right. You have to get rid of the thoughts, the defeated thoughts, your insecure thoughts. You have to feed those, you have to break those thoughts up. Those thoughts to say, I'll never be successful. I'll never lose the weight. I'll never have the happy marriage. I'll never be happy with this person. Or I'll never be happy. I'll never have the career that I want. I'll never, all those kinds of defeated thoughts. You have to get rid of those thoughts. You have to stop those thoughts. You have to put new thoughts in your mind. Find some new thoughts. I can have the life that I dream of. You need to listen to some different people. You need to listen to Coffee Conversation. Go back and listen to some of them old, uh, old, old, old YouTubes. They still good. The messages are still good. Go back and listen to some of the older videos that will minister to you. Find other individuals to listen to. You have to do it. Stop being distracted. Some of us are easily distracted by Netflix shows. Put it on, on a time limit. If you know I, there's a TV show that you want to watch, I only watch on Fridays. After I have done everything I need to do for myself, discipline, I'm going to watch my show on Friday. Oh, my friends want to go out hang out. They want to do this. They want me to come over. I only come over on Saturday nights because Saturday mornings, I got to be about the business of doing the things that I need to do to get to where I need to be. Stop being distracted. Get rid of defeated behaviors. That starts in your mind. You got to stop defeated behaviors in your mind. So then you won't execute a defeated behavior. How am I defeated in my thoughts that's showing up in a defeated behavior in my life? Drill down into that. So that why am I, why am I doing this? Why am I, I don't even want to do this. What I really want to be doing is working on my book. Oh, Angela. But I have a defeated behavior where I just, I don't feel like it. See, it starts with the emotions. I don't feel like it. And then I go into my thoughts, but it's so exhausted. And then it turns into a defeated behavior. No. Discipline. Self-discipline. Patience. Love on yourself. You're doing a great job. 
tell yourself, you're doing a great job. You can do it. I can keep doing it. I can keep going towards my goal and you'll do so. Now, let me give you a couple caveats. The first day, the first week, the first month of any change is the hardest. You have to create a new habit. You're creating a new habit of being committed to self, of putting your goals and your dreams first, your, your passion, your purpose, your create. You might have put everybody, you might have a habit of 20 years of putting everybody else's goals and dreams ahead of yours. I hope you don't think you're going to put yours in front of you for, for 30 days and that's going to be enough. You spent 20 years putting everybody else's goals ahead of yours. Come on, be patient with yourself as you build a new habit of being committed to your dreams, of being committed to your purposes, of being committed to your passions. You have to do it. One, schedule rest breaks. Know when you need a rest. Don't wait till you burned out because it's so hard to recover for burnout. Y'all it is. Y'all listen. Listen, it's too hard to recover from being burned out. You really do need to schedule rest breaks. When am I going to take a break? And take a break. Don't wait till you burned out take a break because then it take forever. Now, now you all the way stopped. You got to stop and let your whole, you beyond depleted when you burned out. You, you. You on the side, it's your gas tank is empty, you on the side of the road. Now you gotta wait for somebody to come tow the truck. They might have to replace some stuff and put gas back in the car. Now you gotta rebuild momentum, you know. Now you've lost momentum, time, everything. Schedule rest breaks. If you taking a trip, when you see, stop, get out, stretch your legs, do something different, take a break. Schedule that, don't burn out, schedule it. And lastly, be patient with your process. Be patient with your process from present self to future self. It is a process. It is a journey and enjoy it. You can't enjoy it if you're rushing it, if you just, I just gotta get that out of get there. Enjoy your process, enjoy your journey. Be patient with, with where you are now to getting to where you are. Be patient with that and love it. Love your journey. Because it's your journey. Love your process. Because it's your process. And you'll get there. All right. That's all I have for you this week on Coffee and Conversation with Angela. Y'all, I'm starting my process again towards my physical health and getting to where I want to be, which is getting to the goal weight that I want to get to. I'll get there one day and I'll take you with me. All right. See you next time on Coffee and Conversation with Angela. Taking the day I am. Taking the day. Taking the day I am, taking the day